and the mistake that killed a lot of fish at the aquarium. Accidentally poisoned one of the biggest tanks at the aquarium. The fish were dying and sinking to the bottom right in front of kids' eyes. News 13's Chris McKee is live at the aquarium with exactly what went wrong. Chris? Yeah, Dean and Jessica, the aquarium says it's now investigating to see if the worker who accidentally poisoned the fish should have known that this could happen. There's no easy explanation for what happened at the Biopark Aquarium this afternoon. Well, nobody wants to see dead fish in an aquarium. It's a really sad situation. Four nets all scooping up dead fish from one of the aquarium's biggest tanks today as kids looked on, something no one is happy about. Oh, that's so sad. It was kind of unexpected, you know. Believe me, I feel worse than anybody. Aquarium manager Holly Kasman says about 100 fish were killed. We have had a, a bad parasite problem in this uh, Atlantic coral reef tank for several months. The fish inside had been fighting off deadly bugs called trematodes. The aquarium had been using a chemical to fight it called praziquantel, but they say it wasn't working. So we decided to try um, a slightly different drug, um, something a little more potent. So they tried a different chemical called Dilox, but within minutes... Unfortunately, we've had some losses. Fish everywhere, struggling to swim, then sinking to the bottom of the tank. Doing little tail spins, circles and such, and they were just dying. Just hearing about it was hard for kids at the aquarium like Lily Humphreys. Well, it's just, it's so sad to see a thriving living creature being killed by something made by man. The victims were both big and small, some as old as the aquarium, 18 years, including blue tank fish. We've lost most of those. Lots of French grunts died too. The aquarium says it has used the chemical before, but they're not sure if this was just too strong a dose. Although it's very commonly used in the aquarium trade, it can have, um, you know, different effects on different tanks. Now the aquarium says the fish also could have died because they were so weak from the parasites and just couldn't take a normal dose, dose of this Dilox chemical. They say this is the first time they've had this many fish die at once. Back to you. All right, Chris, thank you. The aquarium says none of the fish killed were endangered. No estimate right now on just how much it will cost to replace them.